Section 3 of Article 2 of the 1987 Constitution, your Article 2 is about the Declaration of Principles and State Policies. So, nasa principles pa rin tayo. Civilian authority is at all times supreme over the military. The armed forces of the Philippines is the protector of the people and the state. The goal of the AFP is to secure the sovereignty of the state and the integrity of the national territory. Your section 3 is about civilian supremacy. So how do we ensure this principle of civilian supremacy? You read your Article 7, Section 18 of the 1987 Constitution because here in this provision, it talks about the President being the Commander-in-Chief of all armed forces of the Philippines. So, hindi yung general, hindi yung pinakamataas na leader ng AFP, but rather the President of the Philippines. Next, we said that the role of the armed forces is to protect the people and the state as well as the, the armed forces will secure the sovereignty of the state and the integrity of the national territory. So how do we attain this? You read Article 16, Section 5, Number 1, again of the 1987 Constitution. Ano ang nakasulat? All members of the armed forces, meaning mandatory requirement, that they will take an oath or affirmation to uphold and defend our Constitution. 2003, number one question. Take note ha, pag number one ang question, you really have to give it your best. Bakit? Because it will leave an impression to your examiner. So, tingin agad sa tanong, describe briefly what this provision means and is the Philippine National Police covered by the same mandate? So, there are two questions actually. So, what is the provision that we are referring to? Article 2, Section 3 of the 1987 Constitution expresses in part that the AFP is the protector of the people and of the state. Describe what this provision means. So, if you are skilled in writing, this is now your time to show that one. So, what does it mean? It means only that the AFP should not serve the interest of the president but rather of the people and AFP should not commit abuses against the people. Next, is the PNP covered by the same mandate? Answer is no because the provision is specifically addressed only to the AFP and not to the PNP because the latter is separate and distinct from the former. Take note ha, pag AFP ang pinag-uusapan dyan, yung mga sundalo, ang PNP naman is mga kapulisan. Iba ang requirement para maging sundalo, iba naman ang requirement para maging pulis. In fact, when you talk about the AFP, ito yung mga nag-aaral sa PMA, mahigpit minsan dyan ang requirement. 2006, number 6, bar exam question. This is letter C. What constitutional provisions institutionalize the principle of civilian supremacy? So, if you are going to take the bar exams, please lang mag-pray kayo na hindi ganito ang mga questions na mai-encounter nyo. Bakit? Because this kind of questions would require you to give a straightforward answer. Mahirap to, especially if you are in that room taking the bar exams. Kasi ang daming elements. Pagod ka, pressured ka, hindi mo to masyadong nabasa kasi nag-concentrate ka on other areas like the public international law, election law, tapos bigla kang tatanungin ng ganito lang. Very simple, basic question, but because of other factors, hindi mo siya kayang sagutin. Maybe you can answer this if you are in law school, kaya pa, but in the bar exams, Mahirap kasi ang dami mong dapat isipin. It happened to me when I was when I took the bar exams, I was asked number 1 question or I think number 3, the doctrine of piercing the veil of corporate fiction. Na mental block ako, hindi ko alam kung ano ang isasagot. But that doctrine is or can be answered by a 
law student. Kayang-kayang sagutin yan. Pero sa sobrang dami ng inaral ko, naghabol ako doon sa mga special laws ng commercial law, hindi ko na alam. Sobrang dami na ng information. Kaya, believe me guys, yung mga ganong klas, ganitong klaseng tanong nakaka-mental block. So, dapat alerto ka talaga. So, what is the answer? The answer is the constitutional provisions that institutionalize the principle of civilian supremacy is Article 2, Section 3. Ano ba ang Article 2, Section 3? Civilian authority is, is at all times supreme over the military. Number 2, your Article 7, Section 18, the President being the Commander-in-Chief of the military. And Article 16, Section 5, the requirement that the members of the AFP should swear to uphold and defend our Constitution.